youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Fucking snap, who kid, what up, snap fam? Chat. What's up, yo? Yeah, yo, what up, fam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilling, London, yeah. Chilling. Yeah. Hairline's looking pretty good, baby. I did have a hairline issue because my my hairline was very tricky. So what I did is I called LeBron, because I know him for like 15 years, and you know he has the worst hairline, period. And he has like potholes and all that stuff in his head. But what he told me is that they got this uh, spray that uh, actors use when they do movies. People like, you know... I don't know, Denzel and Samuel Jackson, they spray like their hairline part. So what they do is they put a cardboard near my lines and they spray uh, like corners and stuff so it all looks full. So and so what they're actually spraying, like they're just spraying some rug. <laughs> it's they're like, spraying some rug. It's like some weird black tar thing, I don't know. For real? And it lasts for like three, four days. And then LeBron saved my life with it because everywhere I go, Everybody think I'm like 25 or something. <laughs> Raw. Well, you know. And so what if you if, if, if what happens if you get close to a girl? Does it all just end up on her neck? Yeah, it'd be all over her face. <laughs> Between her thighs. You know it's like, it's right. like, you got that right. That happened last night, actually. That's oh, what my hairline's a little loose right now. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Who kid and is crazy? And she, she woke up in the morning and said, What is all this tar on my See ya. thighs? <laughs> And is that what and is that what LeBron uses? What on the court? What about when he's sweating and everything? Nah, only when he's like he has press, but on, on the court he don't care. That's why his hair look crazy. He don't care. He has he's worried worried about the game. But when he has to do press, he has to do a Nike commercial, he has to go on TV, spray baby. Like spray on hair. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like added uh, effect. I don't know. I got it from Light. I call Light our barber. He cuts me and Fifty mm -hmm. there, and now he sprays. All my joints, you know, Yale don't need it yet because he's young. Young in the game. You know, I'm, you know, I'm 40 or 36, oh, depending uh, on where I'm at. Exactly, and who you're with. <laughs> depending on who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the girl yesterday, I was 24. Oh, you know? my <laughs> days. See ya. <laughs> I mean, I'm leaving. I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, smash that, fam. Smash that. Smash British that Airways. Fam. Smash that, fam. See ya. Smash. So, that, that is the story of... Fucking, how, how you keep it youthful out there? The spray on fucking hair. And you're the they... only one, you're the only interview that mm. got my hair, my, well, what is it? My nigga hair tips or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, whatever, <laughs> nigga hair, whatever, whatever, what, nigga hair secrets or whatever. Okay. You're the only one. Now, I don't care. Do they, I, I mean, I don't do, care. They, do they do a white folks version of a spray on? I was asking you. You look like you like the Beatles or something. Man. <laughs> this guy look like he got, you know, he look like he got gel or something. <laughs> no, good, Soul man. glow for white people or something. Soul man. glow. Soul you glow. funny guy, man. Oh man. And what does it? How does it come out? Does it come out all gooey or does it just come out like little? No, hair? it's dry. It's actually dry, so you can't like really shower for three days. So. You gotta be like, I don't know, like, you gotta be like. So you those, don't take a shower for three days? I'm not gonna <laughs> shout out what country it is, but you gotta act like a certain country for three days. Okay, yeah, Paris. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just don't wash the head. Like, I, yeah. I bend my back in a yeah, certain way. It, yeah, oh, man. So, and, what, so what I wash my back. Bend your yeah. back. No, I bend backwards, <laughs> so I don't touch my head, but I, I just wet my top chest. And all the way to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, pause. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Very pause. A lot of pause <laughs> oh moments and, like, from it, the break your back point. And then do you, do, you, do you style it in then? Do you just like with the cut? No, it's probably, it comes with the cut. So the barber cuts it in and Amazing. lines it up. and then. Uh, but I do like the cha-cha in the shower. is this, uh, you haven't got it in today? Uh, nah, it's not. But the line, the line is good, fam. You got not, no shame well, in your game. We got a cool British barber that came yeah. in and kind of like saved the day a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. it's like an imaginary. But his line's line. straight. When you say, yeah, yeah he's oh, good. He's good money. Yeah, yeah. you're good, he man. Got the mohawk going. Uh, it's nothing, good. nothing. A cap wouldn't fit. It's, the, <laughs> <laughs> it's still a little bit. The ink is still there. I didn't shower my head yet. Oh, for real? Yeah, Paul, I, I, you I, still I, got the ink in there? Paul, you Paul. still got the ink in there? It's still slightly in there. I told him... Where's the, the ink? I, I Show told, me the ink. Show me the ink. It's like, I don't know. It's like... Don't know. Oh, does he give a little <laughs> fullness as well? It smells like grapes a little bit. Okay, like, okay. A little grapes. Smell. And where is your hairline weakness then? What? Come up uh, here? The corners right here. Okay. Yeah, the real corners. Male pattern, as yeah. they say. Male pattern baldness. Yeah, it's kind okay. of weird over there. I don't know why I don't grow back. What happened, man? Like, we're stressed? I don't know. Is it hip-hop? I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think it's years, man. I think it's years. It's the age creep. Yeah, I had a girl, you know when I knew that my hairline was messed up? When a girl was licking the corner. Licking the corner? She was like, I love this empty corner. She started licking it. <laughs> that's, when, that's when I, I have a yeah, hair. Why issue. would she want to lick an empty corner? Yeah. Why would she want to? Isn't there other things you could direct Some her towards? Some freaky stuff going yeah. on, man. When yeah, on can road, you say, man. why don't you lick something else, girl? Leave the corner. It was weird. I mean, it reminds me of Olivia a little bit. but uh, <laughs> Now, was Olivia weird? 
Yeah, she, she, she's the feet girl. Remember Olivia? <laughs> <laughs> What's she talk? Oh, yeah. Funny. What happened? What happened with the feet? <laughs> nah, no. She was into feet. That's What, all I got to say. Having her toes sucked or <laughs> sucking other toes? No, she wasn't sucking, but she did something with her feet. Like. <laughs> I no. mean, if she was lost in the forest, she could actually make a fire with her feet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, my joint was on fire. <laughs> was her feet soft or did you get calluses? Uh, it, was, uh, it was really nice. I took the socks off to, oh, to get a better effect. But, uh... <laughs> Man. I Why wish I was lying, Tim. Tim, I seriously yeah, wish I, I was lying. I'm glad you weren't lying. <laughs> This guy's crazy. But why was it was it legit then to smash Olivia? Was it oh, legit? I, I, I never smashed. No, Olivia. was it le le legit to get a foot job off her then? Oh yeah, it was. It was, was great. It, what, it did was, all, did was, all the crew get a foot job? Like, I, I, <laughs> could I, as an affiliate her, of you, Unit, could you, I have got a, a foot job? <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe I was special. I don't know. Maybe yeah, maybe I, you are. I don't know. That's something I never did. A foot job? No. Oh, I, I, never, did. I never got that done. But you, know, you know how it started? It just started from like a little tickle. I was like, <laughs> like she was like, <laughs> she was like playing with her feet down there. Then I took the joke a little further. So I just took my thing out. Was it one of those situations where we were sitting around a table and it was happening in front of other people? No, it was on a private jet. Oh, wow. And then the boss was sleeping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank Jujits God. Jujits, Jujits, <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh, for real. Would you 50, have been huh? in trouble? Would you have been in trouble off the boss? I, I would have got thrown off the fucking jet somewhere. <laughs> Seriously. I would have been somewhere in Nigeria or fucking, I don't know where I would have been at. I would have been somewhere in Nigeria. But you, you, so you weren't allowed to smash a co-worker? Nah, we weren't allowed to touch Olivia at all. Nobody. For real? Yeah, there was like inner beefs amongst rappers we, we already know but, uh, <laughs> we don't need to talk about that right now but uh, me I was just the jokester I was like <laughs> I was a guy that I didn't need to smash I just wanted I was always with her like when we stopped at anywhere we went to eat mm. we went to hang out What shopping you know she's mm. a shop girl mm. you know and then uh, I used to get cursed out by her le like her lesbian friends and stuff like that but uh, I don't want to talk about that other <laughs> rapper either but uh, oh, who's that <laughs> who's that I mean, look just just look at the six Lesbian rappers in America, you figure it out. I mean, it's so obvious, but... Right? Oh, man. Passport gang, yeah, yo, fam. <laughs> What's up, man? Yo, fam. How are you enjoying the traveling, I'm good, man. man. It's the best thing about hip-hop is traveling oh, the world, world and going baby. other places, traveling, man. man. It's, I'm excited. My first time here at your show. I've been to London before, but I was locked up every time. 50 banks yo, and bucking no, everybody. Fam. Now Buck is locked up. Yeah, so. just, yeah man. And now I'm here. But Shout to Buck, free Buck. How was that for you, like, being banged up when all that hype... Pause, and pause, that, pause, man. Banged up. Getting banged up while you were banged up. <laughs> that's the force. He was in yeah, jail. That's the force. Force. In jail. While he was in jail. What, why would, I didn't say getting banged up while you were banged up. I didn't say that. I'm sorry, Tim. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. No, nah, you good. You good, <laughs> man. Don't worry about who kid. Who kid ain't got no felt in Exactly. Man. Now... What was it like missing out, baby? Uh, I that mean, must have been the worst. It, it was big for me, you know. That must the, be like double punishment. Yeah, it, it was punishment, but at the end of the day, like, I didn't have 10 years or five years or I didn't have like a Bobby Smurder kind of yes. bid. I yes. had to do one year because yeah. at that time, you get caught with a gun, you only had to do like six months. Yes. It, it, it changed. I think the law changed in U.S. Yeah. In, well, New York City in like 07, 08, mm. where you got to do three years, mm. four years, five years and better if you were a um, persistent felon. But for Eminem to wear that shirt at the Grammys, that was like big for me to be on yeah. Rikers Island and that, yeah. that helped my career and the way 50 helped me down. Mm. I came home to money and condos. So, exactly. You know, I yeah, live my yeah, life, yeah. man. How, huh? how does it feel to come out and then you have to go back in? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I that came, was a mess. Yeah, that, that was crazy. Yes, that was crazy. With the, pass, <laughs> with the passport thing, I was out for what? One day and then I had to do six months. But mm. I wasn't even really worried about it because, you know, when you locked up in the feds or on the island mm. or up north, there's dudes that got to do 10 to life, 25 to life, 30. Mm. So what the fuck am I complaining about six months Exactly. For? Yeah, just write it. You know what I'm saying? It. But you gotta, just write it like a soldier, fam. You know why I think he's gangster? Because this guy went to Barcelona with his brother's passport. Right. He's uh, gangster. Who was does it, that? Was that the jam up? Yeah, he was on I, a run. I, I, got, I got locked up for gun possession. Mm. Then when I came home, I went to the passport. I could tell y'all now. I went to the passport <laughs> agency. And my brother looked like me, so mm. I, I went under my brother's name because I had a warrant for mm. my arrest, so I couldn't go as my name. So I was flying the world. A lot of times in the club video and everything, I had I was on the run. Like, all the awards, MTV, everything, I was on the they run. They were looking for him, and he's just, like, in uh, Barcelona. Yeah. Like. And they were looking, that you were on the run because I was, what, you I broke was, your probation. Yeah, well, I, I had bail jumping. I had to go back to court for this gun possession, and I didn't, go, I didn't go back. I didn't go back to court. But Eminem so. had a big show in Barcelona and what did Yale yeah, do? Yeah, no, I flew out. I was flying around the world <laughs> under somebody, under my brother's name and passport. So it was crazy. And then when did it all come on top? 
somebody stupid from June, and I'm not going to say no names, but put he, the passport. Sorry, sorry, excuse Idiot. me. Idiot. Who, 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 who? Uh, Olivia. Yeah. No, it wasn't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> that's, that's why he's called who, so, ki- that's why he's called who yeah, kid. Because so, you go to him and go, right. who kid? Who? So I go to parole, and the passport is in the file. It wasn't supposed to show the PO the passport. Mm-hmm. He wasn't supposed to see it. So the PO going through my paperwork and some dummy puts the pa- the passport in there. He opens the passport. He's like, "Hold up, your first name is Marvin. Why does it say Gene on there? My brother's name is Gene." And then he so called, how did the passport end up in there? Because the I idiot. don't know. That's Whoever the idiot office. does, yeah, the office. Somebody in the office did it stupid. And after nine eleven, after the terrorist attack, passport fraud is a federal crime. Oh like, my days! Because you know the terrorists use fake mm, passports mm. to get in the country or whatever like that. So it's a federal crime. So I had to do what six months and probably like two years probation. On top of... Yeah, and just after coming home from doing my state time, I had to do Fed time. Whoa! I would have yeah. cried. It was rough, man. I had I, It was rough for me. I had two um, ankle bracelets. I had a house arrest from the state. Mm-hmm. Then I got off that and had house arrest from the feds. But I had a good team around me, like 50. Team always made sure I was right, that I, I went home early, didn't break curfew, wasn't smoking, wasn't wilding. Oh, they looked out for you. They yeah, looked after you, man. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Because a team can bring you back down, baby. Right. But, Bring you, you know, down. 50, 50, that's one thing about 50, man. I'll always be loyal. He's kind of crazy, but mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always loyal to him because he put us in a position where, you know, we didn't have to stay in the hood. When I came out of jail, I lived in Battery Park. I could see Statue of Liberty when mm. I walk out my building. Mm. So he put us in an opportunity when we didn't come out yet, but I'm fresh out of jail. He just made sure we was good where, you know, nobody gets killed. Or you in the streets, because you know how it is for a rapper, man. Rest in peace to Chink, Stack Bundles. Mm. You know, especially in New York City, man, like, there's some shit going on out there. Yeah, you know oh, it's what I'm crazy saying? out there. It's crazy. Tim knows. Tim knows about craziness before. I mean, there was there was that big moment in time. Yeah, you're the only DJ like, I know that got surrounded and shot and went up or some shit mm-hmm. like that. Right. But there was that. There was that. There was that. There was that. Look at Tim's face. There was that. There was that. There was that big moment in time as well when um, you you were uh, beefing uh, with the henchmen. You know, with henchmen all over. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that was that tip. was that was a. Uh, a big that was like one of my realest beefs, but mm. you know, to me that off stemmed on all came from um Chris Lighty, mm. because Jimmy Henchman his office was on um the same block as yes. Chris Lighty, and he didn't like Chris Lighty for a long time. So when Fifty was near Chris Lighty, that kind of like stemmed off to us, and then you know game was going crazy, so it was like kind of like fuck Jimmy Henchman. I seen him at it's really because of his fault though too, because I went to the mixtape what was the mixtape show. Um, oh, yeah. At the Apollo, they confronted each other. So I went there, and 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 this shit was like Jimmy Henchman now. Like this shit was it was ran know. by him. I didn't even know. So when I got there, you know, he tried to say what's up, sock passe, but I really wasn't feeling it at the time with everything that was going on with game. You know, my issue was really more with Jimmy Henchman. Mm-hmm. And then you know, as we leaving, I left. I left the Apollo. I'm around the corner. My Bentley got shot up, but I was in my. Luckily, I was in my bulletproof truck behind the Bentley. So we all on our phones, not paying attention, and some dude with a hoodie came by and like squeezed like his f- like probably four or five bullets into the mm. Bentley. I didn't report it to the police. I took it home, got a boom boom job, twenty thousand, mm. got the door fixed. Because you know, once your car gets shot up, it's mm. confiscated. It's police evidence. You might not never get it back. For real? Yeah. Oh, I know that. You know, as that much too. shooters shootouts as um, June have been in, we know the law. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, for real. And you know, when my mom's crib got shot up, that's why when you see these rap beefs and you see a lot of media amping this shit up. It's kind of fucked up to me because when it gets real and like somebody dies or somebody gets shot, everybody, yo, this is hip hop. It's not supposed to be like this. Sometimes the media amp a lot of these beefs up and when shit, it really gets real and shit really hit the hand fan. Because a lot of artists, it's not the artists, it's the entourage. Without a doubt. Motherfucker got killers. Every every motherfucker got, you know, somebody in the entourage that, you know. It's about that life. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. And they like yeah, the media all that be throwing, you know, fuel on the fire, fam. Just uh, amplifying it up, man. What do you think yeah. of the, the meek, the meek million game thing? You think that's what, what media? You take that? Mm. You think that's media based? I just feel. I just hope nobody gets hurt because you know when you know when the media and the, everybody's doing interviews and the back and forth on IG, like shit gets real, man. Like I, I lost my man, my man. Rest in peace, my friend Lodi Mac. He got killed. Mm. Behind, you know, the smacking with Jimmy Henchman's son. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, 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 off the record, I have money on my head. Everything is documented. I just don't talk about it because it's real street shit. My mom's crib got shot up with a silencer 22 times. You yep. know, so when Damn. it comes to this rap and beef shit, like G Unit, it's not like being down with a Jay Z or a Kanye. We was down with 50. Mm. 50 had beef with Prem since the beginning, beef with Tata, beef with 
a lot of street niggas, and he never backed down. You know, mm-hmm. so it's real moving around with him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. a lot of real situations, man. Yeah. Because your man did a year and then got killed when he came out. Yeah, yeah. The, the, hit, the actual hitman was, it's all documented. Mm. Like, you could look it up, so I don't want to seem like I'm dry snitching. It's like, if you read Jimmy Henchman's case, all this is documented. Mm. But the hitman was actually in jail with my friend. So he befriended him in jail. And then when he got home, that's the same hitman that was his friend in jail. It was the actual hitman. All the, and all the dudes but that... How, how fucked up is that? I mean, it just tells you, you know, anybody will do anything for the money. You know what I'm saying? I had money on my head plenty of times. Like, when I was locked up on the island, I had money on my head. I had so-called money on my head in the street. You know what I'm saying? You know, 50 so-called had money on his head. Everybody is just a part of, you know, fucking with 50 Cent and and, and being a part of G-Unit. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You live and you learn. That's why when I see these rap beefs, I know how serious it can get. A lot of that shit is playing as well. A lot of that shit now. Yeah, Some of it is corny. I yeah. mean, it's a lot of lawyer fees. You know, yeah. people getting killed is 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 really not worth it. You know what I mean? So I just try to chill and, and lay back and be humble and. Mm. You Yo, know? but Tim is a big money maker too. I mean, these guys are making money from their social medias, their views, their hits on their websites. So I mean, you, if you think Meek Mill lost the Drake battle, but he gained so many new followers. From the actual beef, and then he gets paid off of his social media. A lot of mm. people don't know that, but mm. make money off of that shit. What What do you think of the the fifty meek? Uh, sorry, the game meek situation now. Then, uh, game is a battle. He's a rapping ass nigga, though. Mm. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's what he do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, it's I think it's it's kind of good for hip hop and it's bad for hip hop. Right now, it's good because nobody can get shot, but. If somebody gets shot, I guess it'll be bad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you even look at the Troy <laughs> Ave situation. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you shooting in the club. Like, shit go down. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers got guns in the street. If shit go down, rappers, you know, entourage, shit go down, man. So, hopefully nobody get hurt or mm. don't get too crazy. You know, mm. Beanie Siegel, all of them, that shit, it's like crazy. I mean, nobody so, want to learn from the Biggie and Tupac thing. And then, you know, I mean, the great moments were Nas and Jay-Z. They had the biggest, like, right. rap battle, but... Nobody died, but right, and that's good. <laughs> people should learn from the the, the 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 Biggie and Tupac thing, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Tim, it's, it, either it's going to be a joke or it's going to be yeah. Hopefully, nothing uh, happens. Hopefully, it just stays hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? And how's Buck doing? Buck's doing good. He got a couple of more months left. Right. He'll be back in January. You know, mm-hmm. he's walking on eggshells on Fed probation. I've been in his shoes, but you know, he's running out there. He didn't. I don't. I feel like in Tennessee, he don't got nobody to watch over him like I have in New York. Like. 50 used to call, like, yo, yeah, yo, in the house. 50's a good dude. He get crazy at sometimes, but he's a good dude. Like, yeah, yo, got to make his curfew. So I had like four or five people calling my phone to make sure I'm a curfew in the house, even though I'm a grown-ass man. Yeah. But sometimes you just yeah, need like, a good team yeah, around you. Yeah. So with Buck in Tennessee, man, you know, he's Buck is a, you know, he's a wild guy. Impulse. He just go crazy, so. But mm. he'd be home, little violation, man. He'd be home soon. Mm. And he fully fledged back in the unit now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Good. we've been on the road. We've been doing shows. You know, we kind of miss him because his energy is crazy, mm. man. Shout the buck, man. Thanks we, to me. We let all that shit, all that shit in the <laughs> past, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could, I could argue with Buck Banks or Fifty. Those are my brothers. No matter what, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? All men argue and fight sometimes. It's all good. It mm. ain't nothing. It's mm. just when you in public, it's amplified for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And what's the situation with game? Everything calm now? I'm, I never really had an issue with game. Mm. My my issue was with Jimmy Henchman, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't smack his son. So it was like when somebody's trying to sue you and kill you at the same time, it's like you got your wife <laughs> suing me, but shots is flying back and forth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just looked at it like it was some real sucker shit. And, you know, he he was he had a lot of bricks at that time. So, you know, rumor is he had a half a brick on my head, you know, or, or a brick on my head, money on 50 head. That's the rumors in the street I've been hearing. You just got to learn how to move when... When it's drama. But my mm. beef wasn't with Game. My beef was with Jimmy Henchman because I felt it was like a divide and conquer thing. When I first met Game, I first came home, his mom was calling my phone. Him and his mother. Thanking. Thanking me. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a loyal dude, bro. Like, I, sometimes a lot of shit in the industry, I thought, my mistake was I thought a lot of people was my friends. When they wasn't, it was just business. Mm. I'm big on loyalty, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Even if I wasn't talking to 50, you wouldn't never see me doing a song with Rick Ross or one of his enemies or somebody he don't fuck with. I just don't move like that. Even if 50 wasn't supposed to fuck with me or didn't want to fuck with me, I'll just do my own thing. Mm. Mm. You know? How mad can 50 get? 
Fifty is crazy, man. How crazy is crazy, fam? Fifty is crazy. I'm out of here. I give Fifty his face. He got you know he's he's different moves, man. He's a cancer, right? Fifty a cancer. They moody. They moody people, man. But he's a good guy. I've seen the smacks like like not me though. I've seen him. But 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 us being but look me. But let me tell you something. (laughs) A lot of people don't understand 50 Cent. 50 Cent been like this his whole life. Yeah. Like, he always been the... Well, like, we on the boulevard and everybody's selling drugs and hustling. Everybody get along. Here come 50. Oh, shit. Here come this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like, he just always Debo. was like that his whole entire life. It's not an act. It's real shit. He was like that his whole life. And obviously, money is not changing him, so... Yeah, and it's different because... And I think... I look at it different like this. Why 50 is like that. He didn't have no mother and father, man. All he had, he, he, his whole life, damn near by himself, he had his grandmother and his grandfather. They was older. Rest in peace to his grandmother. She just passed away. And I think that made him even go even more crazy recently that his grandmother passed away. Like, you know, he's crazy. I love him, but he's crazy, man. You just give him his space. You know, we're grown men out here. Yeah, we're grown ass men, fam. Yeah. Yo, yo uh, what's happening with power? Are you going to be jumping on power? I hope so. 50, uh, too, if, if 50, if 50 give us, give us, give us some fucking roles on there. Who cares? Yeah. What and he got the, the BMF thing going on. I hope he give me a part two. But you know how 50 is, man. I just run around with this guy. I get my bags of money and I'm out, man. We just came from Bahrain with the Prince of Bahrain. Oh, Shout yeah. out to my man G-Unit 55. Had a good time out there. I enjoy traveling the world. I live 20 people's lives already. For real, man. Yeah, I've been to London. I've been to Paris. I've been to Dubai. I was telling one of, one of the dudes in the interview I just had, I told him one of my biggest moments is stepping in the cell that Nelson Mandela was in. Yeah. You know what I mean? On yeah. Robin's out. Yeah. That's big. He got a chance to meet Nelson Mandela and Michael Jackson. I'm still fucking mad at him. You know what I <laughs> mean? I got so. my experiences for days, man. The Prince of uh, Monaco is like the homie. He's like, I got weird friends. I don't yeah, know he got why. weird friends. All his friends uh, are like princes and kings uh, and like shit. And Billy Ray Cyrus cooks yeah. me like fish and rice in L.A. <laughs> this is crazy, and man. Willie Nelson. like Some of your friends you had to disown? Yeah, I had to. Like, <laughs> what was that dude from Libya? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> what's his name? What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about Gaddafi. Yeah, Gaddafi. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you had to cut him off. You know what's cra- you know what's <laughs> crazy? him on WhatsApp. You know what's crazy? <laughs> you stupid. You know what's crazy about that relationship? Because I DJed a lot of his events. He did like he did like mad like he was funneling money into the movie industry. Wow. You know the Gaddafi family. Yes. So I would like DJ a lot of his events like in Canada, like mm. you know places that's neutral, that's not America. Mm. But I used to get like weird phone calls with like. 15 numbers and I'd be like who's calling me and then they'd be like yeah we need you Allah <laughs> Allah needs you for this <laughs> event with Beyonce we paid because they paid Beyonce a million dollars to Whoa. perform but she had to give it back yes. obviously when America made him label him as a terrorist yes. but they wanted the money from me I was like you better call my wife man because she, <laughs> she got the 23 G's they paid me right, that ain't going back so <laughs> terrorists you know, or no terrorists you know wife you ain't giving that back I, right? you, better, you better call wife her for that, that shit, baby. yeah she's that. spending that too. yeah, yeah but, but, but the shit that's crazy when America got him out of here I had to take down all the photos from Facebook and everything because I had tidy that shit up family. I had mad shit from I didn't want to like get pulled in and then they exactly. think that I'm, yeah. I'm down with the dude but yeah. but I know a lot of like secret um, backstories on the, the Qaddafis and why what was his America, connect over here where the parties were uh, oh, uh, I know what you're talking a- about. Ahab. Ahab, yeah. That's how, that's actually when I first met him mm-hmm. with, with 50 when he came to the show. He actually bought an outfit from 50 for like 350000 Like, we were in Venice, and he was like, I, I don't want to disrespect you, but can I buy you a leather outfit? Man, 50 was butt-ass naked in that boat going back to the hotel. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> he bought his outfit? Yeah, he bought that shit. He That's gave crazy. it to him. Like, he, he wired 350000 to 50's account, and 50 was butt All of us was going back. We were with that, uh, that, that tennis player, that chick, that white chick. What's her name? Kind of Hannah, whatever that weird name, that kind of kind of Kova, whatever. I, I forgot her name. Okay. But she was, like, laughing at 50 because he was in his underwears. And we were in those, you know, the, those those boats in Venice, like going back to the hotel, like this guy's like chestless, you know, got the <laughs> got the white, uh, you know, he's got white drawers. <laughs> why a black guy wear white I, drawers? I don't know. Why. I don't know Yo, man. I hate. When I don't wear white. Drawers. I hate when a stylist does that too. She why like, would he do? Nah, Fifty like that shit. Which I hate no when a stylist she have all white boxes for the why? whole group. Like, like I don't f- wear white boxes, man. Nah, man, we come on, man. We're like the FSE fought staying experts, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm FSC all day. I wear black. I got black underwear on. Right now, streaks is real out here, B. I got serious streaks. <laughs> the last thing I need to be wearing white.
away. Underwears, bro. Oh, yeah, fam. Man. Now, yo, I've got a blast off of the radio. It's 7 o'clock, fam. Yeah. I want to big you up for coming in, baby. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Through, Thanks, baby. man. Baby, this fucking guy, man. <laughs> I oh, love this guy, man. <laughs> High flown language, Lear jets in the air. Seven chains on, seven clones, I'm everywhere. Different time zone, getting real money. High seats look like snicker bars in Muslim country. Throw up dawn, 20 bottles glow on. Auto mon, frozen on the autobahn. I speak 30 languages and hide in plain sight. Jason Bourne in a Bentley truck with loud.